Hi everybody, I'm Tom Davis with EXP Realty, and today we have a special treat. We have Ryan Lundquist with us today. Ryan, how are you? Good, good. Thanks awesome. for having me. Yeah, good to, good to be here. Great to see you. As many of you know, Ryan is an appraiser as well as a market analyst. So I know that the stats just came out for uh, January. So Ryan, I'd like to share with our viewers today a little bit of a, a market update. So what are you seeing in the market right now, Ryan? Basically, the stats are about what we'd expect to see for January. You know, mostly prices were down and inventories up and um, took longer to sell, all those things. Um, the market was interesting for the past couple quarters, though, because I think we saw sales volume really slough. And so I think a lot of people were wondering, hey, what's the market going to do? Um, but right now, uh, we actually saw a normal level of pendings in January. And so, you know, that could be a sign that maybe the market's trying to find a little bit of a normal groove uh, so far in 2019 if these pendings close and we start to see a normal level of sales. And right. so, yeah, you know, that's interesting because I've seen that as well. We've all been hearing about a shift this year in 2019. So actually, January was a little slow the first couple of months, but the first couple of weeks. But the last couple of weeks, we've seen um, a lot of good buyer activity. Our open houses, in some cases, have had 12, 16 people coming through. Um, I, think, I think what it is, is I think that it's a little bit of some pent-up buyers from last year that were a little frustrated because they couldn't buy a house last year because there were so many multiple offers. I think they now can enter the marketplace, find a property, make an offer, secure a nice home or uh, contract and get a low interest rate. Yeah, it seems like a, yeah, interest rates go down and then I think it's brought a lot of buyers into the market again. And I think buyers, when rates went up last year, a lot of them sat on the fence and thought, whoa, I, I can't afford the market or not sure what I want to do. And it's like a steroid though. And it's maybe gotten some people off the fence. Um, but I'd say, it's an interesting market because we have, uh, it took 11 days longer to sell this January compared to last year at the same time. And that just reminds us that the market has slowed, slower price growth. Um, it's not really aggressive out there. Um, in fact, even 11% less multiple offers right now compared to last year at the same time. And so it just shows that, you know, the market is moving, but it's moving more slowly than it was. And so sellers shouldn't price like it's really aggressive in 2013 because it's 2019. So we talked a little bit about the interest rates. Wow, I got a quote this morning. FHA is at four and a quarter. I mean, those are great rates right now. And so the buyers, if you're a buyer out there, now is a great time to take advantage of the low interest rates. Um, and we're also seeing um, buyer credits. A lot of the sellers are open to, uh, to a credit from the buyer. Um, so I, I'm seeing a lot of good activity based on you know, the interest rates. There's, there's, I've always said there's three things that would cause a shift. Number one is uh, interest rates. Number two is unemployment, which is actually pretty low. And then number three is the affordability factor when prices rise above what the wages can support. I think that right now there's been an exchange of power that's happening in the market where for years we had, we've had this seven year run where sellers have been running the market and um, I think that last year in particular, we began to see sellers struggle with overpricing quite a bit. And so they've had to kind of, I think, maybe pull in the reins and realize that the market's not as aggressive as it used to be. And so we have this market where I think buyers are starting to gain more power on sellers and sellers just need to realize that that dynamic is taking place. And so... But buyers would be wise also to not think that they have all the power in the market though either. And so I think that um, both groups can sort of be, you know, be at different extremes. And I think that we're in a market where it would be wise just to come together. Um, buyers want to buy the right property. They're not willing to pay, um, overpay for, for properties. Yeah, we're seeing somewhat of really a, a normal market. It's not an extreme seller's market like it was last year with crazy multiple offers. Um, and it's not really a crazy buyer's market where the buyer can really 
pick and choose yeah. as they wish. So I feel it's a good, stable, solid market right now. What do you see for the rest of the year, Ryan? Uh, you know, I'm just taking it but month by month. And so I would say right now um, the market the market had a slump. And right now, pendings aren't slumping. What does that mean for the future? I just want to see multiple months of what's pending activity going to do, because then I think that we just need to take it but month by month. Um, there's just been sort of this uncertain vibe in the market. Like, what what is going to happen? We don't know quite for sure. And so I, I just want to take it month by month to see now, Tom. Um, I will say that um, I mentioned that price growth has slowed. Um, and so it's just... I just wanted to piggyback on a thought I had, um, you know, a, a minute ago about that, where I'd pull stats and you'd see that they were up seven to ten percent from last year, and so we had this dynamic growth. But now, it's more like two to three percent or slow, or, or, or so. And so, just just a reminder to, you know, it's a different market. It's a market where you might have bought two years ago and maybe you don't have 20% equity now, you know, and, and you know, you might not be able to move that P, remove that PMI or, and so it's just um, important to see kind of the market that it, it's almost like the market was driving at 80 miles per hour and then it, it's now driving at 30 miles per hour. And, and so I think, to, I think Barry Habib, that was his analogy. I don't want to steal that. Um, but that's, that's sort of where things are at. And then, you know, we'll see kind of how, how things persist. I guess overall in summary, um, if you're a if you're a buyer and if you're wanting to buy a home, I mean by all means, take advantage of the low, great interest rates and the the financing that's available right now. And if you're a seller, now is actually still a good time to sell and um, get a good, solid, reasonable value. Um, you can't um, push the market too much on your pricing. You do have to be obviously priced right in order to get your home sold. But that's kind of my summary overall. I agree. I think that's well said. Um, you have to know the market in which you're selling um, and don't make the mistake of um, bringing the dynamics in from a different market and projecting them onto today. you got to live within today. That is that is the deal. Well, thank you so much, Ryan, for coming out today. We really appreciate it. I know that you are so busy. Um, and if you have any questions, you can... Um, Call, text, email me. My phone number is 855-TOM-DAVES, or you can go online, tomdaves.com, or, of course, Facebook. You can uh, message me on Tom Daves Team. So thanks. Have a great day.